uh, in this particular section, I will be talking about instruction and data flow. The subject is microprocessor KCS403. The things we will discuss in this uh, video is uh, the introduction part, what exactly is uh, the uh, instruction and data flow, then we talk about the data flow and instruction. Now to start with, we must first understand that uh, the instructions and data which actually are uh, stored in RAM have to be fetched. And this entire uh, cycle, which actually takes the instructions and data from the memory, sends it to the uh, registers, then the instructions are uh, uh, sent to ALU, and these the, the ALU will then uh, operate on the data fetched from the uh, memory, and then sends back the result to the memory. Now this entire cycle is called the fetch decode execute cycle. Now in fetch decode execute cycle, as I've already mentioned, you have something called as fetch. Fetch means you have to get the data from the uh, get, get the data from the memory, and then you have to then uh, decode the instructions whichever you have fetched from the memory. Then after fetching, decoding the uh, instructions, then you have to perform the operation on the data. For that, the data is uh, fetched from the memory and that is called as an oper uh, operand fetch. And then you have to operate on that particular data. Uh, the result would store back into the uh, memory. And uh, this is the whole fetch, decode and execute cycle. Now, in the data flow and program flow, this is the entire flow, which you could see in this entire um, diagram. Now, as you could see, this is the memory part. In the memory, you have the uh, read data, you have the memory write, memory read, you have the address of the memory and the write data. These are the pins in the uh, memory. Now, whenever you want to fetch, so what you will do, you have to read it. Okay, so if you have to read it, then you have to activate this read data and memory read and then the read data will fetch the data and send the data to the registers. Now coming to the instructions, so instructions are basically fetched and then it is uh, are sent to the registers and the registers uh, uh, then are uh, connected to the ALU. So all these uh, instructions which are being fetched are sent to the ALU as an ALU operation. So the instructions are then changed to uh, which is called as an opcode. So uh, then opcode is changed to control word. So th that control word is sent to the ALU and then ALU performs the operation as you could see over here, this is the decode phase. So in decode phase, what is happening is you have uh, taken the instruction which was written in the mnemonics or an opcode form uh, and then changed to the control word. The control word is the instruction which is uh, fetched in the ALU and the operation performed with respect to the control word. So this ALU operation is actually called as a control word in this. Then data is fetched and uh, the operation performed and again the ALU result is stored at back at the address wherever you have uh, you want to store in the memory. So this is the entire data flow and the program flow. Thank you.